Yo, salute. Greetings, Earthlings. Greetings, greetings. I am the Blonde Jew. I hail from Atlanta, Georgia, born and raised ATLian. You know what it is, the Blonde Jew FO. And I'm in the building with Rap Olympus, man. Thanks for having me. I wanted to give you all a little perspective on where I come from, what I do. And, you know, it really starts in, in my 20s where my late father, Donnie McCormick, was a blues and southern rock specialist here in Atlanta. And, you know, he was gracious enough to put me on stage um, at a young age, you know, 19, 20, 21, um, just freestyling, singing, being around soul music, you know, and, and being someone who was inspired heavily by Outkast and Goody Mob and some of the Atlanta greats, you know, it was kind of a perfect storm, a blend of, of genres for me as far as what I was drawn to. And, you know, I was rhyming at 19, 20 and, and starting to dabble in production. And, you know, over the years, I've, I've worked hard to, to refine my craft. And lyrically, I'd say I, I specialize in style and, and unique tonality and inflection. Uh, with, with, you know, strong bar work and, you know, just a, a unique sound overall, blend of genres. And, and same thing for production, you know, I, I enjoy chopping samples, I hire live musicians to play on our tracks and uh, just, you know, work with the infinite possibilities. So I'm glad to be here with Rap Olympus and I'll see you soon. Yo, so as far as inspirations are concerned, uh, that's a deep question. And, and it really, it goes back to sort of questioning reality and things in my, in my teens and, and being raised from a non-religious background, but with a, a spiritual purpose. Uh, my parents raised, raised me with the golden rule and, you know, really helped hone in my spirit in terms of being kind to myself and being kind to others. And, and then I bring that into music, you know, I've been inspired by some of the, the greatest lyricists of all time from Atlanta, Andre 3000, uh, Big Boy, All the Goody Mob, Backbone, the Dungeon Family in general. And, and that sound was just, it was, it was contagious in Atlanta and it had a feeling and it was bigger than music. And it was, um, it was just, um, it was therapeutic at a time in my life where I was looking for meaning and purpose. So. Um, you know, I've been doing this for a couple of decades, started rapping in 99, and I've just done it for myself and the, and the healing purpose of learning about oneself. And, you know, attention comes with artistry, but that is not why I do this. I do this because I'm compelled and I have to. And, you know, if I can share anything that reflects any feeling that somebody's been through, it's a blessing, even if it's just one person. So I'm grateful to be here and love to be inspired and inspire others. I think that's something that, you know, may come with the territory when you, when you really delve deep into music, but it's not something you, you should try to do. So, so me personally, I would say the number one thing I've done is always take risks with no expectation of result. And I don't have a preconceived idea in my mind about how the music that I make is supposed to sound. And that has been my greatest blessing uh, over the years. I, I definitely repeat the process faithfully and consistently with no expectation of reception or result. And so over the years, as I continually do this because I feel compelled to, I'm listening, I'm hearing how I'm being received, I'm hearing, you know, the people that love me to the people that troll me and I'm taking it all in, you know, but with a grain of salt to an extent, but with a conscious awareness that this is the energy I'm bringing to, to the table. and. I just feel blessed to, to be able to create and, and do it consistently and manifest. And, you know, the lack of expectation of result is what can lead to being a standout artist. When you, when you do it for yourself and then you give it to the world as a gift. So 
I'm grateful to be here and I'm blessed to, to have a canvas to paint on. And if you guys love it, great. And if you don't, you know, salute to you as well. Remember, remember the 5th of November. Are you smarter than a dictator? Are you? New album, November the 5th. Pre-order it now. Features are loaded. But this is really a high vibrational, resonant feeling of a record to, to give us something to kind of hold our hands through what's about to happen because nobody really knows. And while I'm certainly left-leaning and this is definitely some commentary on, on a lot of what we hear uh, really coming from both sides, this is a record for everybody. And, you know, it's not a Trump-hating record and it's not a Kamala prop her up record. It is uh, enlightening, it's spiritual, and the frequency and tonality that the features bring uh, really just set it off. So we've got huge features, man. We got Dungeon Family Zone, Backbone, we got Jay the Lioness, the Goddess MC, we got all four other Barshans on Solu, Elo, Class, and Conti. We've got Show Rock. We've got Life from Star and Life, man. We've got Jerome Duffy, The Monk is the Master. We've got Tony Shane. We've got Chuck Brown, Jay Roberts, The Canadian Killer. Man, High Sunday and Bison brought versus Zuper Hey Ruse. And. D Rhymes. Y'all are not gonna wanna miss this D Rhymes verse. D Rhymes really killed it. The production is all in house, it's all people we know. Killer Vic is on here with two beats. Jerome Duffy's got a couple of productions. I've got a couple of productions. Exert Beats is on here. Uh, we've got my old homie, man, Marcus Pitts with the boom bap sound. Some real classic boom bap tracks from Marcus Pitts. And none other than DJ Frankie Diesel with the cuts throughout the record. It's got spices, it's got salt and pepper, it's got a little bit of everything for everybody. So y'all don't want to miss this. Remember, remember the 5th of November. When people ask me that in the past, generally I answer with, I talk a lot about God and death. And I think the new album, Are You Smarter Than a Dictator, definitely hits on those topics with a bit more of a, you know, directed political, socio-political commentary. But throughout all of my rap career, I don't make catchy music intentionally or I don't make commercial music. I am very, very tied to conveying some type of spiritual uh, experience through the music and therefore the message is you know, either received, misunderstood, not understood, or just, you know, falls on deaf ears. But again, it goes back to doing this for oneself, you know, learning about oneself and becoming articulate through music. So, you know, a good summary of, of the guts and the feeling and the soul behind the messaging that I talk about is sort of a combination of like John Lennon's Imagine and maybe Bob Marley's whole catalog. Uh, those guys are big influences to me as far as message goes. And then bringing that back to hip hop and, and lyricism, you know, I would say God and death are topics that I bring up often because I think conversation is more valuable than indoctrination and reflection upon what we've all been spoon fed our whole lives versus, you know, looking deep inside and talking with yourself and others about, you know, your greatest fears and your greatest questions. So I am definitely a message driven artist and I'm grateful to have a canvas to ask these questions and have these conversations. Yo, salute Rap Olympus, man. I appreciate y'all. I'm grateful. Thanks for having me. I will leave y'all with this. 99.9% .9 of the time y'all think it's personal. It's not personal, man. Everybody out here is going through something that you don't know. Be empathetic, be caring, be kind. And I promise you, 
things will get better. If you're filled with anger and you don't have anybody to talk to, yell it out loud, man. Don't be afraid to talk. Don't be afraid to slide into my DMs if you gotta say some shit. Like, you know, I know it's tough out here. Nobody's got all the answers. And the best thing you can do is say it out loud and not take it personally. Everybody needs support. I appreciate Rap Olympus for having me. It's a true blessing to be here. And y'all can catch me on the flip side, man. Salute.